It is my honor as president of Imperial College London to welcome you to your 2021 postgraduate graduation. Today we join together from around the world to pay tribute to our graduates, celebrate their accomplishments, and provide our best wishes for their future. Graduates, you have completed your degrees in difficult and unprecedented times. You succeeded in meeting the challenges created by the pandemic with spirit, creativity, and determination. You and your professors created new ways of teaching. Many of you volunteered in your communities. All of you kept moving forward when it seemed as if the world had come to a standstill. You receive your degrees at a crucial time, as the world's communities must continue to address the pandemic while beginning to rebuild the future. There is greater need than ever for your knowledge expertise, and talents. Your family and friends have been a source of encouragement and strength during your studies. They share in the joy of today, and our academics who taught, guided, and inspired you also deserve our thanks. We also remember the family members, friends, and colleagues who we have lost or who have suffered the severe effects of the pandemic. Our hearts go out to all who have been affected. There will be brighter days ahead, and you and other members of the Imperial community will be a vital part of creating that brighter future. Again, congratulations. Thank you. I think there's, first, if one thing that, uh, that the pandemic has, has uh, I think, highlighted to us is that we, we need to celebrate every time we can because, you know, we can, we can be facing enormous challenges around us, and so we need to find every reason to celebrate. The postgraduate students have had really a very challenging year, and of course they've had to work in a remote way, as has everyone else. It's been a year that I don't think anyone would have possibly imagined, and yet to have got through this so successfully is a real triumph. I think everyone has managed really, really well, given how difficult the circumstances are. They've really made the best out of what's been a really tough situation for all students. And I think that they've really excelled 
um, as much as they possibly can in the current environment. I think all of our Imperial students, they're unbelievably innovative, so I think that they're pretty good with change and adapting to change, and I think that we've seen that from our student community. It is a fantastic achievement to get a qualification from an institution that's important and impressive as Imperial. It's not just a prestigious degree name that you have on your CV. It's more than that. It's about persevering through something difficult. It's about proving to yourself that you can do it. The graduation really marks a transition and a set of achievements. And I think it's a really important thing to celebrate what people have achieved this year. So I'm really glad that we're able to do this, even if it has to be in remote and virtual terms. And I do hope that that at least we'll have this virtual ceremony which allows um, us to recognise the achievements of our students. I think that actually this graduation ceremony is all about bringing people together. I think what really makes Imperial unique is, again, not just the academic side, but actually the community that we have. And I always see Imperial as being such a thriving community. This year was made possible by the exceptional efforts of a very large number of people. And I'd like to thank everybody in the college who's really pulled together to enable this year to happen. I take this opportunity to really not only congratulate the students themselves, but their families behind them and friends who've supported them through this time, often at great distance. Become a part of Imperial is a responsibility to help the other part of the people in the world. I hope the graduates will f continue to feel an association with the college uh, and indeed with the faculty. Uh, you're always very welcome to come back. We'll always enjoy seeing you and hearing about your successes. I think you will find that you've been extremely well trained and that you will find interesting jobs, interesting careers, and you'll always be part of Imperial College. I think it's important to stay in touch for a multitude of reasons. First and foremost, we just get a lot more done when people work together, and that's easier when like-minded individuals who may have collaborated really well while they were at this university continue to do so afterwards. Well, I am an alum myself of Imperial College. I'm an undergraduate and postgraduate student of Imperial. I've carried that badge with me. I think it's a, a prestigious badge. I think you will meet colleagues, other students, other former students, other alum around the world and there will be a common bond, a common experience. They can look back at this year and see how they reacted, how they were able to overcome the challenges and be successful. And I think that resilience that they were able to show is something that stays for their career. Whatever these circumstances might have deprived you of, by getting through them, you've demonstrated incredible tenacity and resilience, and you should be incredibly proud of that. This year has been such a difficult year, such a challenging year, given all the extra difficulties, all the extra uncertainty, all the extra complexity. I think the students really do deserve an extra pat on the back for, for their achievements. It's been the hardest year of my academic life. I suspect for students and staff looking back, it will be the hardest year of theirs. So to have got through, to have graduated successfully, to have achieved that's something to really celebrate. I think we all realise what a tough and challenging year this has been for so many people all over the world, coping with the challenges and sometimes sadnesses caused by the COVID pandemic. And of course, the impact of COVID has made this a particularly stressful and challenging year for all of you. We all recognise and applaud how you've coped with this situation and the determination you've shown in coming through these difficult times successfully. You should feel great pride in what you've achieved, and we feel proud of your achievements. Completing a degree at Imperial is not a walk in the park, as you all know. You've had to show determination and many other qualities, as well as intellectual ability. You're graduating today, but you're not leaving Imperial College behind completely. You will always be valued members of our community, so do please stay in touch. Tell us about your future achievements, and I'm sure you will have much to tell. Whatever you choose to do in the future, and you will have many choices, what you've learned at Imperial should stand you in good stead. Over my career, I formed a view of the key ingredients involved 
in achieving success, it comes most readily to those with a burning desire to make things happen, a determination to achieve, and the skills to bring people together. You're all very well equipped to make a positive contribution to our world, whatever your academic background. Whether your future is in medicine, science, engineering, business, or something completely different, you can make a difference. Our world faces many challenges, as you know. You can and will make an impact, whatever you choose to do in the future. I'm sure in your own way you will do so, and we look forward to hearing of your successes in the years ahead. We wish you well for the future, and we congratulate you on being able to graduate today. Well done. Well, I don't know whether to say good morning or good afternoon, but a, a very warm welcome from me to this graduation event. My name is Edwin Chilvers. I am Professor of Medicine at Imperial College London and head of the National Heart and Lung Institute. So I was recently sent a picture of a t-shirt emblazoned with the phrase, Marty, whatever happens, don't go to 2020. This, of course, was a reference to Doc Brown's advice to his young travelling companion in the film Back to the Future. Well, you guys did just that, and as today illustrates, survived more or less intact. That is in no small part down to your extraordinary resilience and perseverance in a world that's been turned upside down and in an education system that has never been so challenged. It's both sad, but encouraging also to reflect that when so many people went backwards in 2020, health-wise, job-wise, finances-wise, you kept going and landed a degree uh, from one of the world's top 10 universities and certainly Europe's largest and most prestigious heart and lung institute. As head of department, I'm immensely proud of your achievements and those of your teaching faculty who helped you all get over the line. I also need to uh, thank again your families for their support and their confidence both in you and in us. So my final word is this, perhaps surprising, but if you ever get to the point of being in the wrong place or in the wrong job, a job that doesn't fulfil or stretch you, then move. Nothing should now hold you back from following your dream and enjoying every step. When you get there, please let us know. We would love to hear. Thank you. It gives me great pleasure to announce the names of the graduates from the National Heart and Lung Institute. Faculty of Medicine, Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Science, National Heart and Lung Institute. Roisin Abarka Wood. Alan Roy Abraham Marilyn Najanwa Addo Winner of the Imperial Award Independent Open-Minded Thought Alia Aldahash Najiba Aldamin Salma Adusari Iptihal Aduhaimi Fahad Al Jabi Doha Al Harbi 
Sara Al Husseini, Maha Al Jishi, Abdurama Al Karashi, Nuth Al Khatib. Sarah Amuzayan, Khalud Al Salami, Leah Andrea Sion, Nana Ann Babu, Zainab Arslan, Russia Assad. Maria Carmeli Chrysostomo Atienza Eric Hunter Shiyuyang Sharam Aziz Misha Baig Bhubva Balaji Krishnan Dorota Bannock Adam Barty Winner of the Faculty of Medicine Dean's Prize for Cardiovascular and Respiratory Healthcare, Abru Fatma Billen Alex Blakes Winner of the NHLI MSc Genomic Medicine Award, Lorna Elizabeth Briggs. Jacqueline Buchanan. Danting Chai. Chen Tianqi. Winner of the NHLI MSc Cardiovascular and Respiratory Healthcare Award, Rory Clayton. Jose Alberto Poyado Remarcha. Winner of the Faculty of Medicine Dean's Prize for Medical Ultrasound Vascular, Rebecca Codender. Francisca Costa Ophelia Dadsi Mafalda de Almeida Gomez Natasha de Winter Rachel Dunk Monica Fioravanti Benjamin Fletcher Lucy Funnel Sukhpreet Gill Alex Gray Ainoa Gwinnott Planellus Yanis Armish Brian Hanley Nur Hassan Amra Nabila Iqbal Jane Isanwani Susanna Jablonska Dilwara Carton Margarita Euna Kifaki Casey Lau 
Claire Louise Lorne. Elsa Sabrina Lawrence. Bella Lee. Henrietta Lucy Lefroy. Winner of the Faculty of Medicine Dean's Prize for Genomic Medicine, Alexandra Lemaigre. Yim Man Lul. May Yi Wern Lo. Marin Mary Lucas. Dan Luol William Logan Macken Aya Majid Vlira Mamuti Nanki Maitra Olga Mamenko Sophie Marlowe Chloe McNally Taiba Noal Mustafa Hiba Musa Tina Nanji Faiza Naz Charlotte Neve Akpobal Ogerol Gloria Opera Eleni Paliomietha Alyssa Peter Winner of the Faculty of Medicine Dean's Prize for Genes, Drugs and Stem Cells, Novel Therapies, Kerry Pickering. Pasawi Prasatsuk. Maria Ramas. Priya Rihal. Josh Reed Van Annika Zian Reclense Rachel Robinson Winner of the NHLI MSC Medical Ultrasound Echocardiography Award Adama Sacco Genesis Santana Magneta Sefa Afsun Siparzad Sama Syed Musavi Ranith Shale Winner of the NHLI MSc Genes, Drugs and Stem Cell Award, Daniel Sheridan. Panapet Siriratna. Nadine Stevens. Chitra Taijan. Yovita Chin Winner of the NHLI MSc Medical Ultrasound Vascular Award, Erica Tosland Irene Vekusi Annabel Vandenhest 
Kevin Vela. Winner of the Faculty of Medicine Dean's Prize for Medical Ultrasound Echocardiography, Ellie Wizard. Xian Yuan Wu. Yaki Yang. Max Yu. Belkes Zagandi. Sean Li Zheng. Jing Yu Zhu. Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Philosophy, National Heart and Lung Institute. Sivananthan Aranon. Diploma of the Imperial College, Doctor of Medicine, National Heart and Lung Institute. Simon Bax. Sabrina Sapphire Hippolyte. Amina Khalil. Thomas Semple. Diploma of the Imperial College, Doctor of Philosophy, National Heart and Lung Institute. Yusuf Ahmad. Johanna Katerina Alsada Thomas da Costa. Eleanor Axon. Charles Butcher. Jennifer Canizales. Sharon Carney. Sylvia Colisino. Cristala Costantinou. Larab Dean. Lydia Finney. Pauline Flagellet. William Foster. Justin Garner. Helena Jimenez Palau. Alvira Hassan. Mona Aluba. James Howard. Richard Jabor. Min Young Kim. Marie Beatrice Lang. Amrit Lota. Amy McDougall. Jack Newman Major. Ian Mann. Claire McBrien. Pia Patricia Uger. Nara Auburn. Paul O'Sullivan. Pallavi Patel. Matthew John Pavitt. Carl Reynolds. Sophie Sagawi. Douglas Salmon. Salvanantham Sajiram. Eric Daniel Tender. Anna Ulrich. Lin Zhao. 
That concludes the graduates from the National Heart and Lung Institute. I would like to offer my warm congratulations and thanks to you, the students of our Faculty of Medicine, for all the hard work and determination you've shown in reaching this most significant moment. The past year has put many challenges in your way, on top of the not inconsiderable matters of coursework, examinations, dissertations, theses and vivas. The commitment and integrity you have demonstrated through these taxing months makes your achievements all the more commendable. You will all have started your studies with us under dramatically different circumstances than those in which you finished. Collectively, you rose to the challenge of unanticipated online learning to complete your studies, even as the broader impacts of the pandemic will have been affecting your lives in many other ways. All of you will have felt impact on your friends and families, I know some of you suddenly found yourselves juggling childcare too, as schools and nurseries closed. And many of you have studied from home in cramped conditions or shared living spaces without the usual access to campus in the early days of lockdown. I also know many of you have supported the NHS and other organisations in directly combating the pandemic. I have huge respect for the fact you've made this year a success despite all the changes and interruptions. You've gained a degree from one of the great universities in the world. The standard of this degree is exactly the same as in any other year. The only difference is it's been achieved during a global pandemic. You are a year of whom the entire faculty are incredibly proud. I'm sure you will now join with me in acknowledging the support of your teachers supervisors, advisors, administrative and operations staff, and of course, the support network of all your fellow students. This has been a team effort, and I'm also proud of the way my staff and you come together to tackle our collective challenges head on. I want to acknowledge and thank your families, friends and colleagues who've supported you personally during this time and who are sharing in this occasion with you today perhaps sadly at enforced distance due to the pandemic. Taking on postgraduate study is, at all times, a most significant and time-consuming endeavour, and those who have backed you in rising to that challenge are crucial contributors to the success we mark today. This graduation helps us celebrate you and mark the first steps you will take as a new generation of public health experts, surgeons, clinical and fundamental scientists, science professionals from across the widest range of fields and industries. But before you take those first steps, please pause a second to recognise just what you've achieved and know that you move forward as a continuing member of our Faculty of Medicine community. Please do stay in touch. So thank you for your time and whoever you may be marking your achievement today, Enjoy your hard-earned celebrations. Well done. Hello to you all. My name is Sam Jonah, a Ghanaian alumnus of Imperial, who has spent lifelong career in the mining industry. I count it as a huge privilege to have been invited to offer you my congratulations on your graduation, even more so in this most unusual year. This has, of course, been a year of many challenges and some outright tragedies for many of us. Yet, despite these trying times, you have made it through to graduation at this wonderful institution. And if I may say so, this is no small achievement and I congratulate each and every one of you. I wish I could assure you that the future will not hold out other difficult challenges. Sadly, I can't. 
today's global economic realities as a direct consequence of the COVID pandemic conjure up images reminiscent of those from the 1929 Wall Street crash. Businesses are going under, and we are seeing unprecedented levels of unemployment, poverty, and increased inequalities. Sadly, these are the realities of the new world and the one that you are graduating into. Graduates, this must be of great concern to you as you live here today with your new academic qualifications. The emergence of the pandemic has brought the need for rapid and radical changes to the way we live and work. If I may say so, there is no longer business as usual. Firms will be looking to recruiting and working with employees whose skills and competences are matched with the exigencies of the period. The essential skills, of course, include flexibility and adaptability, tech savviness, communication and emotional intelligence, creativity and innovation, and of course, an abundance of leadership skills. I have no doubt at all that the Imperial College experience has provided all of you with these skills in abundance. I arrived at Imperial many years ago, a minor with a narrow technical focus, and gladly, gladly I left here with a far broader skill set and a much wider understanding of business. Looking back, I can see everything that I have achieved since my time at Imperial has built on what experience I had here. I also left with a network of people that has proved a lifelong source of friendship, knowledge, resilience, and inspiration. Of course, as we all know, one negative impact of the pandemic here has been the reduced opportunities for physical contact to help network building. But I know you will mitigate that through making the fullest use of ongoing digital connections with your peers and others at Imperial. So graduates, I am confident each of you will also find that your time at Imperial has provided a great foundation. And your success in graduating in this most challenging of years shows that you have the resilience and determination that will stand you in good stead through future challenges. That said, COVID has also thrown up some wonderful opportunities, for particularly for those of you who want to go into business. In my own case, after decades of focusing on mining, I am currently shifting more and more of my investments to businesses that help bring greater sustainability, particularly those that are IT-based. Of course, I see huge opportunity for growth in Africa and so for good investment returns in this shift. But the point I want to bring out is that whilst it is a challenge to learn about these new sectors, the approaches to problem solving I learned long ago at Imperial are still relevant to helping me in this. Graduates, today's ceremony is a symbolic rite of passage, ushering you onto a new pedestal where you will be required to make original and innovative contributions towards the creation of brave new worlds of humane, peaceful, secure, and just inputs. I wish you well, and God bless you. Year of 2020, I salute you, and I offer you my sincerest congratulations and good wishes for the future. And as we say in Ghana, Ayuko translated meaning well done. Thank you very much indeed.